how good are companies actually at this employee engagement and what have been some of the are there some trends you can see where most companies still fail i think this is something that could be really interesting for for anyone working in an hr role or or management role that what are some easy things or some pretty normal things that you could could improve that you found during your your service and and by mm-hmm. by implementing this app in many companies mm-hmm. so first of all the engagement survey is in the form of a pulse survey which means it comes to you as an employee like a pulse which means the uh, the frequency at which you need to answer to the survey questions is you know high um usually it is you know two times a month very very short like 10 questions but very very deep questions like which will take you like maximum two minutes uh and insights you know like if your platform regarding the ui whatever we have made so that people can answer to the questions uh because everyone maybe very bold statement but maybe everyone hates surveys <laughs> i don't know um <laughs> uh, but we do the surveys uh, uh you know very very fr- frequently with the employees to keep track um and like it's very obvious when you do the survey yeah recognition recognition is one of the key metrics of employee engagement you see that recognition score is kind of low after using like a carrot like two months later it becomes absolutely high that's for sure and not just the uh, recognition frequency is important but also the recognition quality is important how qualified recognitions do your employees give inside the company on a daily basis because that's how you help the HR managers make visible. To, uh, that's how you help the HR managers see what's happening inside the company. Is it a good stuff happening inside the company? And uh, usually, yeah, so the recognition goes up uh, in companies that are, how can I say, like we know, like in locally in Armenia, that you know people really love, like um, employees really love their company, like the ambassadorship. Uh, which means how proud the employees are working at your company is usually high uh, is one of the key metrics. But what is usually low is the well-being. Well, and uh, sometimes satisfaction. I'm going to give you like two examples from it, from this. So there is a, a engagement metric that is called satisfaction, which is usually again low at, at companies. Satisfaction is about if uh, the employee has its basic needs to do the job. It's not only the compensation, like the salary, it's also about, do I have a laptop? Do I have a good laptop? Do I have a printer that I need? If I'm a support team member, do I have a, you know, good headphones, working, whatever. And then in one of the companies, like, it's very, very funny. Satisfaction was very low. And then there is a question that asks uh, uh, regarding the workplace comfort. Uh, like, does your, you know, workplace, you know, comfortable? And then you, they just uh, take it from, you know, one to five, from one to five scale. And like most of, like almost 100% of the answers were like one. And it's something very basic, but decreases your engagement. And you know what the reason was? The chairs were not comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, such a, such a simple thing. And then I, uh, I relate. Yeah. Right. And, yeah. Okay. So the chair is not comfortable. It causes, I don't know, maybe back pain, you get, you know, tired working and then you kind of change the chairs, find something comfortable you can. Yeah. Uh, and it, uh, and it um, affects neg- negatively on your work, uh, on your work daily. And so they change the chairs and then you track whether the satisfaction went up or not. And it went from like 2.2 to uh, like 3.5 in just a month, in just <laughs> a month. And they just changed uh, half of the chairs and they were still changing them, buying new ones, right? And then the survey is not about just, you know, doing the survey and saying, yeah, I'm doing the engagement surveys. No, you are not. You need to see the, the problem, right? Okay, there's a satisfaction problem. What's happening? Go talk to your employees, right? Go talk to your employees to understand what's happening. Regarding the well-being, um, well-being is about how you as a company promote healthy lifestyle at your company. How you as a company plus uh, how your peers, not only the you know the company itself, but also the, how peers are promoting healthy lifestyle and healthy you know eating habits at your company. And one of the companies was very very low, and it was okay for them as a company because yeah they go to some group events, team building activities, and they go for beer. Having beer, of course, there shouldn't be any you know thought about well being, which is okay for them because 
Uh, usually tech companies in Armenia, they love hanging out in brew pubs and fr Friday nights, but they had some new, uh, you know, new generation coming into their companies. They had new hires and uh, around 20 people, which is, and then they started looking, oh my gosh, well-being is very low. We need to think about this because we have this new hires from a new generation. You as a manager go to kitchen, you see these people and they are kind of talking about calories and you know what you can eat with this or you cannot eat with that. Uh, kind of healthy, uh, healthy food habits. You understand? No, this is something that right now I need to focus on, right? And then, for example, with Lucky Carrot, we are building this actionable recommendations. What you can do as an HR manager if your well-being metric is low, and so Lucky Carrot gives you an automatic recommendation. Dear HR manager, go to the rewards section, this group event section of Lucky Carrot. Create a group event with a gym membership card. Or a local, there is a local. There are several local uh, electric bike providers. Go and do team building with those. Go and do you know, some biking together. Maybe after the lunch or before the lunch or before the work starts, and then track whether the well-being uh, increase or not. Awesome. Yeah. Don't get rid of the Friday night brew pubs, though. That sounds <laughs> fun. <laughs> I think it's important part of well-being as well.